So when you're standing there and there's a sea of people responding to you, screaming your name as they were, what does, what does that feel like? Love. Mm. You feel lots of love. And I feel blessed and honored to be able to be an instrument of nature that was chosen to give them that, what I give them. I'm very honored and happy about that. An instrument of nature, that's an interesting way to describe yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Are you very spiritual? In what sense? I mean, do you, do you meditate? Do you understand that there's something bigger than yourself at work here? I believe in God, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very much. And I believe everybody comes, and, comes to the world for a reason, I think. Um, most of us spend our lives trying to figure out what the purpose of our being here is. What do you think yours is? My purpose? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I think um, to give in the best way I can through song and through dance and through music. I mean, I am committed to my art. I believe that all art has as its ultimate goal the union between the material and the spiritual, the human and the divine. I believe that to be the reason for the very existence of art. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel I was chosen as an instrument to uh, just give music and love and harmony to the world. What do you want the world to know about you most? I ask Liz that of you. What do you want them to know? Like to be remembered for? Well, not be remembered for. What about known for now? Forget remembered. Oh, known for now as to be an artist, a great artist. I, I love what I do, and I would love people to love what I do. And to be loved, I just simply want to be loved wherever I go. And obviously, if I had known that we'd be sitting here talking about the memory of Michael Jackson, I would have let him finish what he wanted to be remembered for. You know, now...